Josh Just It's generally more exciting to hunt this time of year than any other. Guess what? We're on our way to hunt right now. This is actually my first time to ever hunt in South Texas, so I was pretty excited and looking forward to it. And it's Christmas! In what? In my class. Public speaking? <laughs> Have you gotten your other grades? Okay, so what are your grades? I got an A in accounting, and I got an A in meat science. This semester is going to be the semester I make a 4.0, hopefully. So this is like going to be our only time to hunt. Yeah, so, so we better get it. <laughs> <laughs> in Freer, Texas with Josh Leiniger with Texas Trophy Hunters Association. So why is this the best time of the year to hunt deer? The deer, the big deer are moving right now. You get weather changes, you just get a lot more activity, a lot of deer on their feet, a lot of deer running back and forth, and you just, it's generally more exciting to hunt this time of year than any other. So how are we gonna go about hunting these deer this trip? The rut's in full swing right now, and it's kind of a difficult time to pattern deer, so we're just gonna go to the areas where we know have a lot of deer density, and that's, that's what it comes down to, is just being in the right place at the right time. Thanks, well thank yeah, you. Absolutely. Off to the deer blind this morning. Good luck hunting. Good luck trying to get it. See you later. No matter whoever's is bigger. Taylor and I are really excited to be able to hunt whitetail this weekend. As soon as I put my scope on the deer, the buck actually went back into the bush. I thought I missed my opportunity and I was really disappointed because like we didn't know if he's gonna come back out or not. to say, guess what? I did this emoji. Huh? <laughs> that sums it up pretty much. He says That's what? my face when you shot him. Guess. Like, oh. <laughs> Keeping him. That's my keeper. I got a text too, excuse me. Carlos texted me. <laughs> Let me just fill him in on what's going on. Oh, I can't wait to get a good old picture. I'm gonna post it on Instagram. Yeah, I think you went right through here. 
Yep, 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 it went right through the middle of this. Well, congrats. Thank That's you. Awesome deer. Made a great shot. He's he's a big one. Couldn't have worked out any better this afternoon. Came out, what, 10 minutes, 15 mm -hmm. minutes in the blind at the most. And and then he only went about 50 yards? Yep. Yeah, if that at all. It was perfect, perfect shot. Whenever he went off, I was hoping he'd come back. And then when he did, I wanted to take the shot at least five different times. <laughs> but he waited, paid off. Mm hmm Made a perfect shot. I can't believe how fast it happened. I know, it was, he walked out. Good job. Did you get one? No. He's nice, huh? Mm-hmm. Got two splits at you in the fourth point. Yeah, it's about to say it's a 12 point. Are you proud? I am very proud. She beat me in the competition, but I'm still gonna get a bigger one. We still have a little downtime before the afternoon hunt, so they asked if we wanted to do a little mudding, and I'm all about getting muddy. I bet Kendall's gonna get soaked first. Actually, I know she is. I guarantee Taylor gets stuck here in a minute. There she goes. So now it's back off to the stand in hopes of a buck. The evening hunt comes and I'm kind of a little down because I'm just thinking it's gonna go like the rest of the hunts have gone and not seen much, but my anticipation was still high, hoping that I'd get one. Well, blind six we meet again. Give me some luck this time. We're sitting in the stand and Carlos looks behind us and there is a buck. So we have to try to turn around and get situated without the deer hearing us. As soon as I get my crosshairs on him, he runs off into the bush chasing a doe. So I have to get resituated because Carlos thinks that he's going to come out into the sendero next to us. Meh. As soon as the white tail comes out of that bush, I was excited, nervous, all at the same time. So I texted Taylor, told her the good news, and they're leaving their blind to come and check it out. We got our bucks. This close? Mm-hmm. It was so close. Ooh, blood. 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 Blood, 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 blood. Blood, blood, blood. He's down. Well, we had one last hunt, and if I didn't get a deer then, then I wasn't going to get one this weekend. But he came down running to Sendero, and then he went left, and he went into the bush. So we weren't sure if he was going to come back out, but he went into another Sendero. And he stood broadside, and I got a good shot on him, and here we are.
They don't have the genetics or the quality that we want on a ranch, so that was a good management deer to take out of the herd. Well, thank you. Thank you for being patient. <laughs> It was so exciting to finally see that I had gotten a whitetail down this trip. We were pretty nervous that it wasn't going to happen, but this is why we hunt. Me and my best friend got to go down to South Texas. We made some awesome memories while we were here, and just all around it was a great time. It was awesome to be able to see her get a whitetail down, and I got one down as well, and now it's back off to school.